Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 945 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for your iPhone and the Garmin Connect application to send the notifications to your watch. So first, let's open the settings on our iPhone. In the settings, you should see the Bluetooth option. Tap on it. In the Bluetooth menu, you should see the list called My Devices. And on this list, you should see your Forerunner 945. Find it, then tap on the info icon next to it. And here you will see probably the option called uh, share system notifications. You should see this option right here. If you see it and it's turned off, make sure it is enabled. So enable this option. Once you enable this option, go back to the main page of settings, scroll down to the list of applications, and on the list of applications, find the connect app, tap on it. Here, uh, make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. And if you want to, you can also enable the option called allow notifications, but this one is not required. Okay, and once you're done, open the Garmin Connect application on your iPhone. In the app, tap on uh, More. Scroll down, tap on Garmin Devices. Select your for runner 945. As you can see, I got some pop-ups about the permissions. Let me actually just allow them for now. Okay, let's select the watch. And on this page, scroll down, find the option called uh, Sounds and Alerts. Tap on it. And here you should see the option called Smart Notifications. Tap on it. And right here we can customize the settings for the notifications. We can uh, tap on General Use. This is basically when you're using your watch and you're not tracking any activity on it. So basically everything else besides tracking activity. And we can turn on and off the notifications. Uh, for that time we can uh, select uh, which types of notifications should appear on the screen uh, uh, when you receive them. Then we have alert option, so basically how the alert should happen. You have tones, vibration, and tones and vibration. So select the option you like, and then go back. And next we have the during activity, basically when you're tracking an activity like running, cycling, and stuff like that. And you can enable or disable the notifications, you can select the type of notification, and you can select the type of the alert. And once you're done, go back, you can tap on timeout, and here we can uh, select for how long the uh, notifications will be displayed on the screen of your device. You can lo select long, medium or short. And then we have the privacy and here you can select one of the actions to perform to be uh, to content be fully displayed on your uh, screen of your watch. So if you, for example, select action, you will need to perform uh, action to display the uh, full notification or gesture. You can also select the gesture. Okay. And once you're done with the settings, you can close the app. And at this point, you should be able to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. So I'm going to send myself a message on Discord. As you can see, we got it on our iPhone and also on our watch. So that's how you enable default notifications on this watch, or rather for this watch on the uh, iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.